assalamu alaikum uh, thank you all of you to watching in this video and this video today I will describe about uh, chapter 9 simple machine in this chapter uh, these learning objects are here inclined plane mechanical advantages of inclined plane pulley screw jig wheel and excel now these topics we will discuss in this chapter uh, video okay let's start inclined plane you can see here inclined plane a simple machine consisting of a sloping surface used for rising heavy bodies you can see here a boy uh, rising a heavy objects the force required to move object up the incline is less than the weight being raised this counting friction now this is the definition of inclined plane it is our daily life experience that it is easier to roll up heavy objects by meaning of sloping plank they to lift it vertically to the simple height uh, to the same height the sloping plane is an example of an inclined plane inclined plane is actually rigid plane which kept inclined to horizontal at the certain angle it's depend upon the angle where is the angle uh, increase or large the objects we can easily rise up and easily with, uh, take uh, with the help of is less force now this inclined plane and we can easily uh, move objects with the help of small force now let's start with say mechanical advantages of inclined plane in this big uh, red in diagram you can see her object is p effort p and the weight is uh, direction toward the earth and the angle some angle we uh, make a angle of inclined plane and the height of h which is represented to bc and the length of this inclined plane represented by l in this figure the lord w being the pull along the inclined plane and a b inclined at the angle theta to the horizontal weight of lord act vertically downward in order to rise the vertical height h effort p has moved distance l along the path a b now input we can work in same like that input we can do work by the effort we which multiply input is equal to work done by effort is equal to effort multiplied by distance we can effort which means p and the distance which cover p l p cross l which is input and the output w which means weight and height these two factors are increasing and decreasing with respect to input when we give input and these two factors are variable and variations now weight multiplied by height work done rising the load is called w and h h is means height now this is the input and output factors now how to find the mechanical advantages of inclined plane now finally ideal machine input is equal to output now input is equal to output input p cross l p means effort and l means distance from a to b output w weight multiplied by height now we can divide l divided by h this h uh, divide into and w divided by p work done divided by effort is called mechanical advantage the mechanical advantage of inclined plane is w divided by p which is also equal to l divided by h length divided by height so we is inclined plane depend upon the theta and angle therefore sine theta in this sine theta is equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse this is the Pythagoras theorem we can find the perpendicular h and hypotenuse l perpendicular h divided by l which is theta l divided by h is equal to 1 divided by sin theta therefore sin theta cross multiplication sin theta into divide and l divided by h which is 1 divided by 
साइन थीटा मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज ऑफ इनक्लाइन प्लेन स्कल टू वन डिवाइड बाई साइन थीटा नाउ इक्वेशन शो देट दिमिलर द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा ग्रेटर विल बी मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज सो इट इज डिपेंड अपॉन द थीटा इफ वी कीप दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इन थीटा फॉर एग्जाम्पल जीरो डिग्री विच मीन्स इन दिस प्लेन क्लाइन प्लेन सो साइन थीटा साइन जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो द मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज इज इन फाइनाइट वेन वी कीप दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इन टू नाइन्टी डिग्री नो द मीन क्लाइन प्लेन साइन नाइन्टी इज जीरो सो नो मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज विल बी मिनिमम मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज क्योंकि आउटपुट विद द हेल्प ऑफ थीटा नाउ दिस इज द इनक्लाइन प्लेन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स वी कैन मूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इज ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इजीली वी कैन राइज अप ड्यू टू द वी कैन कीप दिस इनक्लाइन प्लेन एट सर्टेन एंगल सो यू कैन हियर दिस कॉमन एग्जाम्पल्स इन आवर डेली लाइफ नाउ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पुली यू कैन सी हेयर पुली इज अ व्हील विद द ग्रोव्ड रिम You can see here is the two type of pulleys. One is fixed pulley and other is moving pulley. Now, this is the example of moving pulley and now, and it can also be suspended by fixed beam by means of a hole. Now, let's start to pulleys. Pulley has two kind of pulleys. One is fixed pulley and other is movable pulley. So moving a fixed pulley which is in fixed position and moving a bell pulley which is moved by one side to other side. Now, now these are the two kind of pulleys. Now define fixed pulley. First of all, simple pulley is a hook on the stable supported a rope passing around grooved as shown in figure. Now the mechanical advantages of fixed fixed pulley. Mathematically, we can now input is equal to output. Now f input which means effort. We can see here input effort. We can pull this uh, pulley uh, with the help of th uh, thread multiplied by effort arm. Effort arm we can say O A. Which is O A is the effort arm of this pulley. is input now output weight you can see here where load is there w and the weight arm b o which is weight arm this output so we can he has yes, right here p multiply by o and w multiply by o b which is output now the mechanical advantages of w divided by p is equal to we can see here o b now p divided by w you can see here and p is inside you can divide into p and ob now the distance from o to b and o to a is same therefore we can write is equal to 1 so mechanical advantages of fixed pulley is equal to 1 you can say right here mechanical advantages of fixed pulley is 1 because the both distance same input and output distance of pulley is same So radius of both pulley is half divided. So this is the fixed pulley. Now, let's start to move able pulley. Movable pulley. This is pulley one end of the rope passing through around the pulley is tied to rigid support. At point zero, at point O, and the effort P is supplied at the other end of rope. You can see here effort P can. effort uh, and the pulley this pulley move upward and the this is the fixed pulley and this is movable pulley this pulley move upward and the load rise up the weight or load w left is hanging from the hook or block at every point in the rope the tension is equal to the applied effort p as both end of rope are pulling the weight w upward effort acting the weight in the upward dial direction and which is equal to 2p which is p and from distance here to here p and here to here 2p which is two efforts are applied in this pulley so if we neglect the weight of rope 
the friction then in the equilibrium position now load is equal to 2 multiplied by effort you can we can write here load is equal to 2 time of effort so we can write here w divided by p mechanical advantages of fixable pulley is 2 and the mechanical advantages of fixed pulley is 1 and mobile pulley is mechanical advantage is 2 because this is a 2 pulley so we can easy to uh, for less effort for the this objects now let's start to next screw jig now screw jig you can see here screw jig is a simple machine which is commonly used to lift heavy loads such as motor car it consists of a loud, long screw rod or you can see a long screw or rod passing through a threaded block B and handle H you can uh, see here handle H which is called themi bar to turn the threaded block B as a result it rise up left heavy load the distance between two successive screw thread is called pitch. This is called pitch. Now, when the effort is applied to the handle edge, effort move circle R, where the R is the length of themi bar. You can see R is the length of themi bar. This is called a tommy bar. This uh, rotation block b move up input is equal to we can write here p is equal to 2 pi r we can write here 2 pi r 2 pi r is the circumference now input is equal to 2 pi r output is equal to weight and height you can if the load is here w and height which means you can uh, output if the neglect the energy laws input output is equal to input output weight and height and input p which is effort and r 2 pi r which is circumference of the whole circle 2 pi r when we rotate completely one rotations of this handle and we can write again w divided by p we can p is in divide and 2 pi same as this and h divided into this friction w divided by p is the mechanical advantages the mechanical advantage of skew j is equal to 2 pi r divided by h mechanical advantages distance through which effort is mo uh, which efforts moving divided by height through which the load is raised is the pitch of screw is very small as compared to the length of Tommy bar, so the mechanical advantage of screw jig is very large. Now, this is the mechanical advantage of screw jig. Now, let's start to uh, next topic: wheel and axle. Wheel and axle is very simple machine. It is used to many countries to lift heavy loads such as pulling buckets of water from a deep wall. Wheel and axle consist of two cylinders, one large radius and other is small radius which are mounted on the same shift, which is common axis of rotation. The cylinder which is large radius is called the wheel and the cylinder which small radius is called the axis. The shifted grabbed the clamps so that it can be rotated freely. When the effort applied turn the wheel through which one complete revolutions, the axis also turn through the one revolutions. Thus, in the same interval of time, effort will move. Effort will move through the distance of two pi r. Now, two pi r small r is the radius and keep a radius of this uh, wheel and the capital or of wheel is this now the, if the force of friction is neglect then output is equal to input so 
the other small r which is mounted to small shifted which is commonly axis rotation and the wheel and axle consist of two cylinders one is large radius this is two big cylinder and this is small radius r so we can weight multiply by 2 pi r of this wheel and output effort multiply by 2 pi r for the big wheel so w divided by p which is equal to 2 pi r divided by small 2 pi r thus the mechanical advantage of wheel and axle system is 2 pi and 2 pi cancel out to each other and r divided by r so mechanical advantages of axle depend upon the radius of cylinder of small and large cylinder okay this is the mechanical advantages of axle now question answers determine the mechanical advantages of inclined plane answer is this is i have already described about this answer uh, in inclined plane and mechanical advantages of plane in this is the also proof of mechanical advantages of inclined plane which is depend upon the theta now next questions this is a practical questions for homework 9.3 and 9.4 our lever come resistance of r force effort p is also weight and apply to it calculate the mechanical advantages and efficiency of lever if it is effort arm 10 time and long to weight arm now second inclined plane of 5 meter long and one end raised up one centimeter calculate the mechanical advantages now this is homework i will give him some uh, you can write w is equal to 400 and effort p is equal to 50 newton and the mechanical advantages of lever you can now that weight divided by effort weight divided by 40 100 divided by 50 with the answer is 8 now you can output is this is in chapter uh, 9 and page number 139 139 okay thank you all of you watching